Hey guys, so today I want to do a non-beauty but more fashion slash style video and this is mainly rooted from me trying to find a whole new style for this year and that has got me really excited in terms of getting back into the gym and just seeing that a couple of old clothes that I've had since high school. <laughs> I've had clothes since then and that's a good eight to six years of just big stuff that didn't fit me anymore or just jewelry specifically we're going to talk about jewelry but jewelry that seemed a bit too serious for me right now like I'm trying to have more fun with my style I'm trying not to dress or age myself up too much so yeah it's been an entire journey of going through my closet cleaning everything out I have easily donated at least four giant trash bags full of clothes and it's just stuff that I never touched anymore it's stuff that I just didn't like anymore so I have been shopping in brand new sites and going off of sir so there's one site that I have been checking out a lot and that is Rue Lala and I'll post all the information including a nice little preview of the website here I feel like they are kind of like Nordstrom Rack. So if you don't know, Nordstrom Rack or Hot Look, they constantly have fashion events where something is like a flash sale of a specific brand or they categorize it into jewelry for $20 or shoes and booties under 50 or something like that. And they change every so often. And I feel with Rue La La, I have found that it does that a lot where they just cycle through events and in this specific case, I ordered a couple of jewelry from them. And there's one other place that I ordered. It's the bracelet, but we'll talk about that soon. With every piece, I'm kind of going to style it with something to see if... Well, I do like these pieces. <laughs> the first thing that caught my eye on the whole collection event that they were having were these earrings. These just completely sold it to me. <laughs> I know they're big. I know they're bulky, but... They're pretty cute, you know, they have just that regular clasp on the back and yeah, they look pretty cute. So I know that something like this would be kind of hard to style with, but I am leaning towards more just plain gold and silver. I think that was my problem, that I had a lot of colorful earrings to the point where, you know, I'm missing this color, I'm missing this color, but it's like, where it's just a simple gold piece or like something fun that I could wear with a completely black or a white outfit. Let me show you up close. They're really cute. <laughs> I specifically got these because I bought this almost around my birthday. Sorry, I'm just trying to detangle it. But it's a cute Swarovski bracelet and it's got a little bee on it. And I really like just how I know this is like not about the bracelet but I'm just letting you know that the clasp at the end is like this little ball so it just it's magnetic so it stays on so what I really wanted to do is to get another accessory piece that has like a bee on it maybe a necklace I really didn't think I was gonna find earrings so I'm kind of happy with that let's see how they look yeah <laughs> I really like the bees they're really cute they're nice and shiny and like I said, I can match them with something black or just, you know, a monochrome outfit and then have this pop of gold here. So yeah, those are the first things. The second piece that I got is a necklace. Now this is legit a statement necklace. <laughs> is this huge thing. I know I'm saying that I want to buy things so that I can easily match them with whatever. But this, I feel like the colors just really jumped out to me. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. This is also a bracelet. I would love that, honestly. Can you imagine, like, a chunky bracelet like that? That's so cute. It actually looks like that prom thing that you get. In terms of quality, it is Eye Candy LA. That was the brand of the event they were having. And it's not bad. I'm happy that this was actually, it's pretty lightweight, which I thought this was going to be a huge annoying piece to wear, but it's really not. Let me put that in. Yeah, it's pretty cute. 
I'm trying to get it to just line up with the collar, which is something that I may need to tighten up in the back, but at least the hook can clasp on to the outlets that are much more farther away. But yeah, look at that. I love the, the metal of it is just interesting. Especially for the summer. And again, just a gold piece. If I just had a bracelet with it, like I don't need an earring or anything. Like look how cute that is. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> I really like this. It was the size that I expected once I saw it online. Like I knew this thing was going to be huge. I ended up tossing this other huge statement necklace that I had, but it was more gems and crystals. But it aged me up like I couldn't match it with anything else. I looked like a way too serious outfit. But this is just really fun. And I actually really do like the detail of the fabric that's wrapped around the chain there. Yeah. It's loud and clunky, but that's fine. <laughs> Look at the back. It's pretty interesting. Like it's just like a little net of stuff holding it together. So the final thing that I ordered from iCandy LA is this crazy ass thing i think it's really cool okay <laughs> it is a scorpion <laughs> necklace looking choker thing i think this is great so i am obsessed with any jewelry that has an animal on it so aside from my bee earrings and the bee bracelet that i already have i also have these totally not cartier rings uh i think i got these from aldo actually like look at these it's like a little baby jaguar on this one and then here's the big head right there listen we can't afford cartier yet but i saw the design of the ring in the store just passing by and i was like oh my god i know that's like the price of a house but <laughs> i'm gonna find an alternative somewhere else and thankfully Aldo had them these actually hold up pretty well like I've had these for years and thankfully they haven't rusted or anything so that's pretty nice <laughs> if I'm being honest like look at that I love the emerald eye on it so I just like things that are just cool and interesting especially since I am gearing towards a more neutral closet I want something that stands out so this is definitely leaning towards the style that I like in terms of jewelry now <laughs> this thing's wild so the hinge is right at the top and i was pretty worried because i thought oh god that's gonna be pulling at my hair but i've worn this during a video that ended up being a corrupted file in the end <laughs> but that whole time it was sitting on me just fine the thing just stays on it's pretty cool i like it how it just it could be hiding in my hair and then it's just like right there a little scorpion it's the wildest thing i know but Rue La La or just the Eye Candy LA store also had this long chain with a T-Rex on it. And I was really tempted. Like, that's also really adorable. It's just really cool. Yeah. Let's see. Like, did you just imagine that? That is great. With an ultra shoulder thing. So I'm really trying to see, like, how I can make an outfit around these pieces. <laughs> I'm mainly gearing towards doing that more than I'll see if I wear that someday. It's like, no, this is going to be matching with something else that I should be getting. <laughs> so I'll bring you guys close. Look how cool that is. I think it's really well done. Like, I don't remember what the price was. I'm... I believe it was either 25 or almost 30 for each piece. So that's, that's really not bad. And in terms of quality, this is this is much heavier than the full-on floral necklace. And none of these came with a weird smell. I know that maybe that is like an iffy thing in terms of what are these even? Just statement pieces that you just buy online. And, you know, I don't expect these to be, like, real crystals or anything. It doesn't matter. It looks really cool. I'm really curious to see the 
longevity of these, if they do start to stain because of any sweat. Um, yeah, it seems just fine to me, honestly. What I am surprised is that with each piece, there isn't like a little engraved thing or like a little tag that says I Candy LA. So, <laughs> I honestly wish I was in LA so I could check out the store and see all the pieces in person. But for my first purchase on Rue La La and that site in general, these have been really fun and I'm really happy to have these in my collection now. So yeah, that's everything that I've purchased from Rue La La and Cheek Wish for the first time in terms of jewelry. And I know that this is different. Um, my allergies have gone away, thankfully. <laughs> I did do a makeup look yesterday, but again, the file of just three hours of recording, I never thought this would happen to me, but once I connected my camera to the computer, it couldn't find it. So I was very, very down yesterday. <laughs> I was just like, God. <sighs> like, I didn't want to have to record again. And honestly, the energy that I had in those videos just... I don't feel like it was there, so I'm kind of trying to see the brighter side of losing those files. It's, it's completely fine. I will be talking about it. It's mainly bags and shoes, so that's why I'm gearing more towards style and just, you know, putting things together. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. If this is something entirely too different, then maybe I'll just, you know, separate this in an entire playlist all on its own and then keep on with makeup stuff once my eyes and allergies have completely gone away. Happy 2020 because I don't, this is my first video of the year. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you on my next one, which I hope to be very soon because I won't be having those file problems ever again. That really sucked, but it happens, right? Bye guys.